Then on Sports Central, we go for a March Madness game preview and prediction on the round of 32 matchup between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Duquesne Dukes, two teams that are coming off a of very impressive first round wins. Illinois took down Moorhead State. I honestly feel like that could have been a potential upset game there for the Illini. You consider Moorhead State the way they've played later on, but Illinois shut that down real quick. They beat them by 16. And Illinois is a team that is very dangerous at this current point. I could easily see this team making a run here. And they got Duquesne in the second round. The Dukes have also played really well in recent time. And I haven't lost a game in over a month. This is a really impressive team right now. So you got two teams that are red hot heading into this matchup. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Well, let's get started against me on Saturday in Omaha. Tip-off is 8.40 p.m. Eastern. Spreads go in Illinois by 10 and a half years. So... Uh, they're one of the heaviest favorites in the second round. And, I mean, it's it's tough because Duquesne's played really well in recent time. But also, you got to consider Illinois. And Terrence Shannon, the way that his team's been playing, I mean, they won the Big Ten tournament. They've had a really strong run in, in the last few weeks. Uh, this is a team that's going to be a really tough out, I think, in this tournament. Over under 148.5. And, and the BPI is going to Illinois 88% here. You look at the East region. On the other side, you got Washington State and Iowa State. So winner of this game will play either Iowa State or Washington State. Um, Iowa State is probably going to be the favorite there. But I will say Washington State has been really overlooked this entire tournament so far. I feel like Wazoo could absolutely... Uh, being the Sweet 16, and I would not be surprised. Beer stack comparison, Illinois, 84 points a game, 74 points allowed. This is a strong team, especially on offense. That's really where this team shines most. Uh, but they're really, I mean, they allow 74 points a game. They're still a strong team on both sides. They're 1-4 and four against the top 25, so haven't performed as well against their best opponents this season. But when they've been favored, they have won most of their games, and uh, many times in dominant fashion. But as for Duquesne, uh, they're different than the Illini in that this is a strong defensive team. They allow 66 points a game. Uh, they get 70. And against this Illinois team uh, that is fast-paced and can score uh, very quickly, you're going to have to score a lot of points, I would imagine, in this matchup more than you're used to if the Dukes do want to win here. Uh, but they're 1-1 one one overall against the top 25. Your key points, Illini 27-8. and eight. This team won the Big Ten tourney. This is a red-hot team. Something I've noticed with Illinois, too, is how impressive they have been in the second half of their games, especially. They have started a bit slow in recent games, but... This is a team that progressively uh, gets tougher and tougher as the game goes on. And so that's what's truly dangerous of Illinois is they wear you down. And in the second half, they find a way and they start shooting at a really impressive rate in the second half. So, and honestly, for Duquesne and really many lower seeds in this tournament, yeah, good luck shutting down Terrence Shannon. He was a force against Moorhead State, uh, really brutal to stop. And this is... Really a dangerous team that can make a deep run, I feel like. I mean, you got UConn, who's also um, in this region. UConn, based on the way they just took down Stetson, I mean, Stetson's a 16 seed, but regardless, UConn is going to be a really tough team to beat in this tournament. Can Illinois do it? I think they maybe can, but it's obviously going to be tough. UConn's going to be a favorite in every game they played this season but for duquesne this team hasn't lost a game since february 23rd this is a team that's won nine games since then so at this current point for duquesne you got grant who uh, leads a strong defensive team here he's also their uh, lead scorer with 17 points a game and uh, the sky's the limit for duquesne if they can get past the line out here but can they let's get the prediction here for illinois and duquesne coming up here in the second round this would be a pretty big upset if Duquesne can manage to knock off the Illini in the end, I just don't see it happening. I'm going Illini 77 to 70 here. I think they win it by uh, seven to 10 points or so. I think they're gonna hang in there and at least keep it close for a while. But I feel like this is one of those games where Illinois is probably gonna lead the entire time, even though Duquesne's not exactly gonna go away. Terrence Shannon's an issue for Duquesne. I know this is a strong defensive team, but uh, Terrence Shannon is just gonna be too much, I think, for uh, Duquesne to handle. He's been incredible in recent time. He's averaging 23 a game this season. I just don't see Duquesne stopping him, and I feel like Illinois is uh, going to proceed on to the Sweet 16. So I'm going to say 60% towards Illinois. I'm taking the under for this one. I think it's more of a defensive game based 
or in comparison to what the line is at. And I'm taking Duquesne to cover the spread in the end. But with that, let me know your thoughts and comments below on this matchup. Do you think there could be an upset here? Personally, I just don't see it. I think a line I move on. But with that, appreciate you guys watching as always. My name is Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.